he asked you what your goals were and you just looked him straight in the eye and you said, I want to be a world champion. What made you think that you could do that? It's funny because I, I look back now and trying to get to where I have and, and accomplish what I have in the sport has been so much harder than I anticipated and so much work and so much commitment. And also I think when you are first starting out, sometimes you make these significant jumps and significant improvements and then it plateaus and each little improvement thereafter is just really, really, really small. Right. And so I came in and I was an amateur and I made these massive gains pretty quickly. And seeing that I think is partially what gave me the bravado to think that I would become world champion. Like I really thought that within a couple of years that that's where I would be. And so I've never been afraid to dream big, which you know, and I have never been afraid to set really big goals. So I think that that's part of it. I'm definitely not um, conservative when it comes to that type of thing. But I think the other part is just like a naivety around just how talented people in this sport are. I mean, I didn't even know what a triathlon was until I was 29. And here I am today. It's my job. It's kind of crazy. I don't know. What about you? Like when you made the transition from running into triathlon, what were the goals that you like? Did you have specific goals that you set for yourself? And like, yeah, well, when I first or evolved? they have evolved because when I first switched from running to triathlon, I was very on this like Olympic track mindset because I had not made the team in track. And I really felt like I needed to make an Olympic team to kind of validate the pursuit that I'd been on. And so I, and I had followed the whole Olympic build up to Rio because the American women in triathlon were just so amazing it's easy to look at the kind of breakdown of times in a triathlon and think like, I could do that. Mm -hmm. And totally. I like, I'm I sure you looked at the 10 K time and you're like, Oh, I can do that. No problem. Right. I know that it's incredibly hard and the athletes in our fields are amazingly talented, but I, I've never thought that it's something that I couldn't achieve or that it was unreachable for me. Has there been anything that's been harder than you expected? I think that I progressed really quickly in swimming from where like my starting point was when I started triathlon, but I have still struggled with some of the physicality and like the race dynamics that come with open water swimming. And that isn't necessarily surprising, but I think that it's a skill that's taken me longer to improve on and get comfortable with than I would have liked it to for sure. I love the mm -hmm. the aspect of triathlon where there are so many things that you can master. There's always something that you can work on and improve on, and which my coach likes to remind me of that there's lots of things that <laughs> I could get better. <laughs> Quote from Chelsea on Friday: We had a six-hour ride. She's like, six-hour rides just like now. <laughs> I don't know. I love improving. I love that like the process of getting better at something, and so triathlon definitely provides that. It does. I mean, I, it's true. And I think same thing with racing, right? Like how rarely do you go through a race and feel as though everything went perfectly because the race is so long, stuff is bound to go wrong and you're going to have to adapt. And I guess that's kind of part of what makes triathlon so incredible.